Today we're going to have a look at Monster Loves You. Now Zoe started doing a playthrough of this on her channel so you should go and check it out after this because it's pretty cool. So the idea is that your, I think that your monster, you sort of make choices as you go along that define your monster. So, help me begin your story. How does it go again? Long ago, deep in the forest, monsters call the whale mist. That's right. Long ago, nestled in the heart of the forest was the monster village of Omen. You were born from slime that holds the memory of monsters known for... Now I have a choice of actions and attitude or words and thoughts. Ooh. Let's go for actions and attitude. You're not awake yet, but soon your first eye will open. My first eye. Your simple dreams will give way to life itself. You dream of fighting and eating and screaming. Fighting, facing frightened enemies unafraid. Protecting innocent monsters from harm. Oh my god. Um, fighting, facing frightening enemies unafraid. Your body, oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna, get, oh, I'm gonna be born. Okay, here we go. Oh look, I've got I've got some stuff going on here. Be born. You awaken in the chilling season just as the air begins to turn crisply cool. Your eye is open. You're a morsel just barely born. You float in the spawning vat. Dozens of other morsels are exploring, flailing and stealing food from each other. Uh try to swim. Another morsel swims towards you. It opens its mouth to show it opens its mouth to show a set of small sharp teeth. It bites you. Fuck you! Stop that biting. You pause, unable to believe that another mon another morsel, sorry, is trying to eat you. After a moment, you snap out of it and start to move again. Oh, kill it! Ra! Keep fighting! Ra! Your first snarl, excellent. Oh, I've eaten it. Oh god, I feel a bit bad about that. Oh no, another morsel is too weak to swim properly. It's sinking towards the bottom of the spawning bat. Oh no, that's terrible. I'm going to do something about it. That's right. Uh, get under the morsel and push it up. I think I will do this. The morsel's dead weight forces you down. Your legs come to rest against the bottom of the squashing... Uh, sorry, not the squashing vat. The spawning vat. Where they begin to squish. I read the wrong line. Keep pushing, you're not giving up. Your feet are breaking up. Still not giving up. Your legs are gone now, but you stretch your arms and body, changing your slimy shape to hold the other morsel up to the surface of the slime. Oh wow, morsel out of danger? Yay! Don't grieve, it's logical. The needs of any one monster is important. Oh my god, I died! Oh, okay. The two dissolving morsels reach for each other. They become together in a single mass. A new morsel. You two are and always will be one. Oh my god. You have grown too big for the spawning vat. You must move on to the next stage of life and become a monsterling. Got any advice? You're going to get into some trouble, which is great. Exercise your bravery, cleverness, ferocity, kindness and honesty. What kind of monster will you be? Okay, to the brood cave, an adventure. Oh, is this me? Hiya! Hiya, little guys. Adventure, choose your adventure. Ooh. Uh, I've just realised this may not be showing my mouse cursor. Oh well. Never mind. Let's, I want to... Fox. Let's have a look at this fox one. A roly-poly fox stumbles into the brood cave, leans against a rock and coughs. It looks vaguely at you and the other monsterlings showing no fear. Let's talk to the fox. Oh god, it's really ill. Hello, I'm a talking... <coughs> <coughs> then it drools and spits. It's really sick. I'm not doing the spitting. Uh, help it escape alive! Slaughter it, eat it, mind your own business. Uh, ooh. Let's help it escape alive. I like foxes. Nash, 
Nash Nash reaches for Fox, but you slap her claws away and gently lift it in your arms. You carry the fox to Elder Marinus, who promises it will be nursed back to health. It's blatantly going to get eaten by the elders. Oh, look at this. Kindness, ferocity, bravery. Yeah, more adventure. Let's go for some spiders. Oh no, there's something scurrying along the walls and the ceiling and the floor. It's spiders as big as round as plates. They're swarming the cave. What the fuck do we do? Confront them. One does not simply walk into plate spiders. How will you approach them? Uh, let's ask them what they want. Oh, they got lost. Oh, well, that's okay. Like, they've gone the wrong way. They're trying to get to the whale, miss. And they say, we got lost. So sorry to bother you. Well, I'll help them out then. Kindness. Yay. I didn't really want more kindness. I wanted cleverness, but okay. Okay, bye, spiders. There we go. So they've gotten... Fucking hell, I want to level these two up. What can I do to fix that? Let's try... Let's try this... Oh my god, what's going on here? Let's try this one. Three gangly adolescent... Oh god, I can't even speak now. Three gangly adolescent monsters wander into the cave and start poking gob claws with sticks. She tries to get away, but they surround her. This tree starts to cry. Wow. Get involved and stop the bullying. This tree's such a know-it-all. Who cares? This tree's, like, not the one who's being poked, though. Because... This tree starts to cry, but it says gob claws. Slightly confused there. I think someone put the wrong name in. Let's just say it's Bliss Tree who's being poked, because she says here she's being poked. Um, I'm going to invo get involved and stop the bullying, because, you know, there's no point. You're in the cave together. Let's just leave it. You are po you are poached the conflict. So you poach it like an egg. I don't know, fucking know. You approach to the conflict. That's actually even worse than what I just said. What? Um, there's no way you can fight them all. Convince them to leave with words. Oh yeah, keep your sticks, tasty claws. Get the others to distract them and slice them up with your claws. Uh, get the others to distri distract them. Yay, I've got cleverness. That's what I wanted. Blots and Smark run at the bullies from one side. As they turn and laugh at the little monsterlings, you slam into their backs with your claws out. Startled and afraid, they flee. Yeah, five days left. So this is me. This is actually me, like the guy with the adventure over his head. I don't look like that. What the fuck? Uh, and then let's have a fight. Sod it. Wow, okay. So Blistery climbs up on top of the lichen pile. She refuses to let any other monstling eat, proclaiming herself ruler of the lichen pile. Charge at her. She's an idiot. Find an elder. Destabilise the pile. Gang up on her. I'm going to destabilise the pile. While Blistery's fending off some of the other monsterlings, you sidle up to the lichen pile. There's a huge pile of lichen towards the bottom and a big old bear bone down there. Uh, I'll take the... Ooh. I don't know. I don't know what monsters prefer. I mean, surely they prefer a bone. I'll take a big old bear bone. Ah, there we go. You grab the old bone and twist. The lichen pile collapses. Blistery is buried in the stuff. Um, oh, God. They start rush They rush in and start eating or kicking Blistery or both. I don't know if they're eating Blistery or eating the lichen. A bit worried there. Oh, well. I've got one more. Oh, no. You wake up and find that you're no longer a little monsterling. You're growing up. Wow. Uh, I'm going to go with you, sure, whatever. Oh, hello. Mariner shuffles down the long tunnel, turning this way and that amongst dozens of forking passages. They stop in a warm, humid chamber with a pit in the floor. She points to the pit, which sees with thick mist. Uh, let's jump right in, whatever. You fall and fall some more. And fall and you're falling. And other monsterlings are falling? Yes, some of them are crying. Oh no, and you can't see through the mist. Or is it fog? Or maybe clouds? Moans and groans are whispering screams. Where am I? I must be somewhere. You land on smooth flat stone. Despite the swirling vapour, the floor is as dry as a bone. 
You hear other monsters breathing nearby. Some of them are still above you, still falling. Let's get out of the way. Oh my god, what are we doing? Where are we going? There's passages everywhere. How are we going to get out? All the monsters are panicking. Hmm, maybe someone should lead. Uh, maybe someone should lead. I can't be bothered with that. Uh, well, the other monsters continue to mill around the misty cavern. Oh no, should I follow someone who seems confident or admit that I'm lost? Uh, I'm going to admit that I'm lost. Fuck it. Why not? Going down a passage. Oh no, there's loads of ghosts. They're, they're, they're everywhere. Why? That was a bit... S the ghosts speak in many voices, all hollow and distant, all in unison. They ask you, do you fear? I could say yes. This is very scary. I could attack them. I don't. Why are you trying to attack them? It doesn't fucking work. They're ghosts. Or wait and say nothing. I will wait. The ghosts stare into and through you as though you're one made of mist. One sharp voice speaks from behind you. Why are you here? It's not very sharp, was it? Uh. I could lecture them about the monster life cycle, I could attack them or I could bide my time. I'm going to bide my time. Sod it. Oh god. A small ghost crawls around your foot like a cold wet snake. The ghost moans, will you lend the sum of your blood so we may go on? Fuck you. Not getting my blood. Stupid spectral monsters. They laugh at you and prove they're not entirely untouchable. They start to choke you to death. So you pass out. No! Oh, okay, that's the end of Monsterhood. So there we go. That's that's the end of Monsterhood. That's how I did this. I don't know how it compares to Zoe, but go and check it out. It looks pretty cool. I like the concept of this, like a little monster that you can, you can make. You can sort of chill out in the big bad world. So it's pretty cool, you know, you can then like grow up a little bit and then grow up some more. You could do different adventures. And it, it seems to be mainly text based. There's not much in terms of animation. Uh, but it, it looks pretty cool. I like the concept. It's, think of it almost as Spore, but an indie like text based version, I guess. Um, I don't know which one of those is me, but they all look a little bit freaky. So I, I'm not sure, I'm slightly scared. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. That's just a really like speedy look at Monster Loves You. It, it it could be really good. It could be quite exciting. I'm not I'm not sure how, where you go from here. I mean, obviously you just get a, you just become a bigger monster and you you gain extra extra stuff like bravery and things. I don't know how that applies later on. I'm guessing it would apply. Uh, much later on to various scenarios, as it were. Um, oh, is that... No, that's not me, that little blue thing down there. It, I must be one of this rabble next to the adventure in town. I don't know. But yeah, so... If you like if you like the little concept of this, if you like, you know, sort of text-based adventures or monsters, or you liked Spore, this might be the kind of thing for you. Um, or, you know, you want to have a little look and see how far, uh, how it, the game continues, then go and watch Zoe's videos. I don't know how much she's doing. I, maybe she's doing the whole life cycle of a monster. I just don't know. Uh, but no, go and check it out. I'll put a link in either the annotations or the video description. So go check it out. That was Monster Loves You. If you've got any suggestions for Saturday specials in the future, let me know in the comments. And I'll see you next week for more Saturday fun. Bye!